Hi guys, it's Amy from Nail Polish Baby 90 and we are here today with a nail polish haul. First of all, I think my white balance on my camera is slightly off. Normally my husband is here to try and help me with it, but I've had to kind of DIY it. <laughs> Hopefully he's good enough to see the polish colours. So basically, after I put up my indie nail polish haul, which was, um, I bought them in start of February. I didn't buy nail polish for six weeks. This is where, if I could, I would put a fanfare noise in. Um, I've never, not never, I don't think I've ever gone six weeks without buying polish in a long time. Um, so to reward myself, I went to Sally's and I bought a few to show you, and then I also got sent a few by a lovely friend of mine. So this will probably be quite short, so let's just get into what you came for, the nail polish. I drove to my local Sally's to pick up the um, OPI Hawaii collection. When I was there, they also had still some of the Christmas collections on sale. So the only ones that I don't actually know why I didn't pick this up first time, because it's friggin' stunning. This is December to remember. Now this is a dark navy uh, jelly, and then we have this like kind of micro shimmer running through it, which goes between a purple and a green and just really, really beautiful colours. It reminds me of Chicha Choose You, which they brought out in their um, autumn collection. Just the way it was kind of every light you turn it in, it's a different colour. I can imagine in some lights this looks really blue, in some looks green, some looks purple pink so a really trans transforming colour um, so that's why I picked this up I think it was only at one pound because Christmas was ages ago on to the main event I went in my mind thinking I was going to get six of the 12 OPI Hawaii collection polishes um, the way I normally do this is because if I go in there not knowing what I want I come out with hundreds um, I watched um, Just Face 90s live application swatch video and I will link her channel down below and then everybody on Instagram does amazing swatches so just kind of have a look around that would be my 10 my advice that I would give to anybody um, especially if you know you have a nail polish addiction don't go in there blind so I went in for six I came away from four with four the two that I didn't pick up were when I got there in person I realised I kind of had similarish colours and I didn't just want to pay full price for them so they were the light purple and dark purple in the collection so what I will do is hopefully at the end of the summer when these are reduced down like the Christmas ones I just bought from China Glaze I will go back in and I will pick up any that are remaining that I need so the four that I picked up were so the first one is That's Hilarious um, and this is a beautiful kind of neon minty see I want to say mint but mint's more turquoise to me when this is definitely a light green quite a lot of people have said this is similar to one of the formulations of gargantuan green grape I don't have either so I can't really comment but this is just a beautiful spring colour so that is That's Hilarious the next one that I have is one of the pinks and this is Aloha from OBI I wasn't actually going to get this but I just freaking love the name um, I also thought this was similar to Coca Cola Red when I got it home it's a lot more coral and it's a lot more soft I don't know like something about the texture and the formula looking in this it just looks really really beautiful and kind of pastel but still bright on the camera it's picking up really red but believe me in person this is more of a coral it might be something to do with my white balance being off I then got this colors making waves and I love blue nail polishes there's uh, we have a thing um, any color that I can grab I will this is a dark blue and there's like so much shimmer in there and there's a light blue duo chrome running through it i've heard her that this is quite sheer it takes about three to four coats to get opaque i will deal with it because it is blue so that's that's um that's making waves this color is making waves and the last one is Go With The Lava Flow. And this is another one of the um, duo chromes with lots of shimmer in it. It's very similar to that, that this colour's making waves, but in a, like a reddy, orangey colour. So as you see, you get this lovely, like, kind of citrusy orange shimmer in it. You also have a red shimmer. It's another one that's going to look very different in each light you wear it in. And I just thought it was really fun for the summer. I don't have anything like this. Um, but yeah, so that is Go With The Lava Flow. So those are my four picks from that collection. Like I said, the other two that I was tempted over were the two purples. Let me know which ones you picked up and if I'm being so stupid and not getting one that's really obvious. Um, but those is what, that is what I got from Sally's Beauty Supply. So the next little bundle that I'm going to show you is from my friend Lindsay who does the channel Lindsay Does Nails and we were talking a little while ago and she had some enchanted polishes that she wanted to find a new home and I said I would take them um, and then a package arrived a couple of weeks later and Lindsay you spoiled me because she sent me more than what the just the two enchanted polishes that I thought I was receiving so first of all thank you so much for that um, I will be returning the favour to her and I've said this publicly so she could hold it to me because I am a little bit slow in case you haven't noticed but at some point by the I'm thinking the next month or so she will have her package um, but yeah let's just show you what I got 
So they are all indies. The first two that I knew I was getting are the ones from Enchanted Polish. So this is Chow Milano, and this is one of those amazing polishes that Enchanted Enchanted Polish is one of those kind of like Messiah polishes to me. Just look at the shift in that. Absolutely stunning. I'm not sure if you can get this opaque by itself. I feel that you can because it looks quite densely packed. But that one is Chow Milano. The next one that I got is Hello New York. And this is similar, obviously, to this. Um, but this one is actually in a kind of lime green to gold shimmer. Can you see that? Yeah, it's kind of picking up true on the camera. Um, absolutely stunning. I am so looking forward to wearing these. The duo flakies are kind of in right now. So check me out with my Enchanted Polish. It is Cat Central in here today. I have both of them in here and I feel that they could both knock the camera over at any point because they're a little crazy. I don't think it's the smell of the Lush products. Mm. Next one is from KB Shimmer and this is from their Christmas collection. This is White Here, White Now. Let's take a minute to say I love that name. And also I am after my dream white. What I always used to use was my boyfriend Scales Walls, which is obviously an off-white, but something true cream classic i'm on the hunt for it so let's put this to the test and see if this is the new white cream for me another christmas one this is my jindy nails and this is a surprise inside now this is my second jindy nails um as you saw one of my other hauls i got it as a prize from um, entering a competition on rainbow connection so now i have two and i feel really comfortable having two of each brand for me i like to just have two i don't know why because what happens if you get an amazing one and then a really rubbish one i don't know it's just the compulsive hoarder inside of me anyway this is a beautiful Christmassy um, color it kind of looks like a pine tree Christmas tree when you look at it it's, but a slightly lighter and then you have these um, larger sec larger holographic sections of kind of rainbow color I don't know if it's gonna pick up oh yeah you can so there's red and purple and blue just a little bit of everything we've got running in this like micro um, green glitter base so yeah that one is really really cute as well I love glitter I'm a glitter queen now the next four are from brands that I've never had any from before so I again one of my missions for this year was to try out new um, indie polishes so thank you Lindsay in helping me in my quest the first one is from Ella G now everybody talks about Ella G I think I heard about them ages ago when I think it was Jess again said that they have dolphin shaped glitter in some of their nail polish crazy this one is this kind of looks sorry i should probably show you this is called sky high heels um and this is a kind of yellow gold polish with again some really interesting like bronze shimmer running through it it just gives it slightly different tone to it i do only have one other gold um yellow toned gold and i don't really like it that much which is from china glaze but i think where this has got the shimmer and the bronze it just takes it to another level because I don't know, like yellow nail polish, I, d I can't really like do, but that we can definitely work with. So watches from these will all be on my Instagram and I will be putting them in my monthly favourites videos. I am going to be doing March's monthly favourites, but it's going to probably come up, it's going to be late. It's going to be late. At the moment, my, ha my timing and housekeepingness is not good, but I will be doing it. The next one is from Sweetheart Polish and this one is called Red Suit. And this is a, again, it kind of looks similar to something else that I've just shown you in a way, because it, not similar, like the same sort of family, because it is this beautiful red, but then you get that gold, orangey shimmer running through it. Look at that. So pretty. So I'm guessing this is another Christmas one, and this is Red Suit. And the next one is from Smitten Polish, and this is Jack Frost. This is me all over. This is something that you can get absolutely opaque by itself. It's blue, it's silver, it's it's everything I want in a polish. Blue glitter that I can get opaque is just me. You might as well just bottle them. Now Polish Baby 90 because I need them, I want them, I can never have enough. So that one is Jack Frost. The last one is from Loaded Lacquer, and I haven't actually got any from Loaded Lacquer, and I'm so excited to try them, because again, it's a company that everybody talks about, Lindsay talks about them all the time, and yeah, this is gorgeous. So this is this um, lovely kind of pewter, blue, grey um, jelly base, and then triangle silver glitters, blue round glitters, silver round glitters, and holographic round glitters. Absolutely gorgeous, and again, I really love anything kind of bluey, grey, purple. I love it. So that one there is Megalodon. I don't know if I said that. Megalodon by Loaded Lacquer.
So that is everything that I've got through probably March and, well, end of March start and the whole of April. Um, not a lot, but I'm trying to keep it down a little bit because I'm trying to get through my swatches. I also broken a nail, so I'm only just starting to do swatches again, so that put me a bit even more behind track. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Thank you to Lindsay. I will link her channel down below. I will link Jess down below so you can look at those beautiful live applications of the OPI Hawaii collection, if you so please. And I will speak to you all very soon. Bye-bye.